Psalms 48, 49, and 53. As you see, there are starting to miss quite a few psalms. I removed them, but I'll discuss them later. Um, but these are the good ones. And whoops, 48 is first. Okay, um, actually, I done this video <laughs> and I forgot to. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I forgot to edit 49. I went from 48 to 53. So what I'm going to do is this one I know is completed. <coughs> but I want to try to remember uh, what I did here. Uh, you can see I titled it Yah is Coming. Oh, this four, uh, 48 has these words here. His holy mountain is beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth. Now, what does this mean? Well, I had to add the word we call it Mount Zion in the far north is what we're talking about here. The far north is the North Star. And the, sun, and the star's motion creates this mountain effect. Um, <clears throat> this is the only Bible, New American Standard Bible, that I used the 1977, um, that actually tells us that uh, where heaven is located. No other Bible does. What they do is they change the word far, which actually comes from the word like remote, <clears throat> Uh, they turn it into the slopes of the north and uh, uh, on the sides of the north and things like that. But you don't know this until you actually search your Bible and go through uh, many of the other ones. I made a video, it's in the description, and I picked, I think, uh, went to BibleHub.com and got all the verses <clears throat> to show you uh, that uh, how they distorted the word far to understand where heaven is actually located. If it wasn't for the 1977 uh, Bible, we would not know where heaven is located. <clears throat> but from this text, it tells us his holy mountain is beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth, which are the stars and everybody can see the North Star. Okay, or the motion of this, um, the stars forming a mountain. <clears throat> and this is where uh, the kingdom, this is where the kingdom, and this is our creator uh, deciding this kingdom, for our great king will be. I added the word Yah here. It wasn't in the regular text. It all, had, all these had he's and him's. Well, um, 149, Psalm 149 will show you that how the word Yah is actually the name that they gave to our to Jesus at that time. <clears throat> Yah will make himself known. Then the kings will be assembled and passed by him together. Um, other than that, the text I cleaned up I know that down here, when I talked about his right hand is full of righteousness, um, a king on earth holds a scepter in his right hand when he's giving out judgment. So this is what they're talking about. Uh, his right hand is full of righteousness. He's going to rule righteously. Um, but, <clears throat> boy, um, as you can see, I named this Yah is Coming. And I'm going to group a lot of these together because when I was editing these, I found a lot more text referring to Jesus than what you can actually um, make out in the um, psalm. And through the first, and I'm linking with each one of these in the description below, their first uh, when I go through each one of them, I spend like up to an hour showing how I'm, uh, I started to get to what is known as a format. 
uh, this is the second uh, going through them and I'm cleaning up the words a little bit more now that I have the story and I'm putting titles on them and this one will be under ya and we're going to have a group of them from ya now I can get to 49 that I didn't do as you can see I didn't title it I didn't even spell it right okay hear this everyone it's for my people's ear both low and high rich and poor together my mouth will speak wisdom from my heart's understanding listen to a proverb as i open my riddle <clears throat> why should i why should i fear the days of evil when the iniquities of my foes surround me even those who trust in their wealth they boast they boast in their abundance of their riches <clears throat> I wonder if I need this here even those who trust in their wealth they boast of their abundance meaning that they're a material person okay and they all think it's about wealth no man can by any means redeem his brother okay and this is what it is he, people believe that their wealth is more important than uh being redeemed okay and so here he's going to say no man can by any means redeem his brother or give to our creator a ransom for himself meaning their money can get them out of problems here to be redeemed <clears throat> we are not to live we are not to live on eternally on earth earth and not undergo decay we are not to live on earth eternally and not undergo decay okay um this would mean that they know that the soul is just going to exist automatically and our body has nothing to do um except to be buried and decay but we don't use the body anymore our souls have left the body that's how that's why we died and we exist afterwards so we are not to live on eternally on earth we're not to live forever we are not to live forever on earth and not undergo decay this is this is his riddle we're going through here we are not to live forever on earth and not undergo decay so you if you don't know that your soul automatically just enters um at their time it was they entered the abyss uh since jesus has a kingdom in heaven uh, at that time when you die if you're righteous he allows you to enter into heaven and if you're not you're in the abyss still um for do not understand okay man cannot redeem his brother okay for he sees wise men die or we see or we see the wise men die and the stupid and senseless too yet they are leaving their wealth to their sons 
and their dwelling places are homes. Or homes. For the next generation. For we have we have called our lands after our names. Okay, this is what the wealthy are doing. Um, but here, I need the word but. We called our lands after our names. Okay, so this must be other people then. After our names, but man in their prompt will not endure. They are like like the beasts that die. But man in their but men, but man in their pop. Um, but man in their wealth will not endure. Man and. So that's what we were talking about above. So let's not switch chat of oh, subject. Man and their whole, uh, wealth will not endure. They are like the beasts that die. Um, oh, I need to move on from that one there. It, it's I, I agree with it, but it's got it needs to be explained. Um, see up here, uh, it, they're talking about. Let's see, their trust. The evil is trusting in their abundance of their wealth. Okay, and they can't ransom themselves because their money. But then they, but uh, they're trying. To, some of them are trying to live forever on earth, and not undergo decay by their wealth. Um, but we see the wise men die and the stupid senseless too. Yet they are leaving their wealth to their sons and their homes for the next generation. But we called our lands after our names. See, these would be people that just are the foreigners in the land and don't understand uh, how uh, Israelis have set up their land to pass on to their descendants. They're using wealth in their homes as to say that they can pass that on, but sooner or later, they're all going to die. They're like the beasts that die, and they won't have this uh, generation from generation. Our Creator has promised them to have sons and daughters to pass on uh, their land so they have a place to live and prosper and have a family, and the family is the most important thing, not the wealth. The family are, are actually living to enter into heaven if they obey our Creator. Now, their way of life is foolish, and for those after them, and those after them, Approve, who approve their work. Their way of life is foolish and their way of life is foolish, but those after them approve their words, meaning wealth is more important. They are appointed for the abyss. Death will be their shepherd. Um, and their form will be for the abyss to be consumed. Okay, I, I 
when I left this in, I didn't know if I was going to take it out or if I uh, needed to redo those words. Because some of these took me over an hour to do, and I was just chopping them off and saying, uh, do it uh, here, edit it. That just needs to be removed. Our Creator will dream, will dream, will redeem my soul from the powers of the abyss, for He will call for me. Therefore, I am not afraid. Um, when man becomes rich, their items in their house increase, uh, in their homes, in their homes increase. Um, but when they die. They will not carry an item with them. Their items will not descend after them. Their items will not descend. Well, okay, it's with them here and then not descend to later. <laughs> um, because maybe they know about the Egyptians, how they would wrap things up and bury it with them to say that they could take it with them. So this would be to that understanding of that knowledge. Although while they live, they congratulate. They congratulate. Their items will not descend after them. While they live, they congratulate themselves. And although men, men praise you when you do well for yourself, their items will not descend after them. But while they are, but while they But while they are alive, okay, so this is not needed. When man becomes rich, their items in their houses increase, but when they die, I like this verse more than the one above. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Their items will not descend after them. And knowing that their people are burying them with their riches, for example, uh, ornaments and things like that. But when they die, their items will not descend after after them. And here I would Let's see, what did I actually take out? They will not carry an item with them. Yeah, I guess that could be explained as them burying things and not. So, okay, that one works. But while they are alive, they congratulate themselves. And although men praise you when you do well for yourself, They will go down, they will go to the generation of their forefathers. They will go the way of their forefathers. They will go the way of their Forefathers, meaning to enter the abyss, as we read up here. Okay. Um, hurry, is it up here? Yeah, pointing to the abyss. Okay. They will go away. They will go the way of their forefathers. Or their generation. Well, then I would have to switch the word generation over here and put go over there. They will go the way of their forefathers, meaning the way of life that they're living is causing them to go. They will go 
the way their forefathers and never see and never and will never never see the daylight I want to put the word again again but that all of a sudden means reincarnation they will go the way of they will go and never see the daylight because I'm trying to say that this sentence can't be this sentence can't be left like this this is a this is not man without understanding like a beast that dies okay okay that's finished this word here again can't be there okay they will they will go away their forefathers and never see the daylight they will go. but you don't see the daylight when you're in heaven our creator's light is the light there is no sun uh, up there we don't need what we have here in um, to experience life here on earth uh, they will go the way of their forefathers and never see never see they were wrong and without understanding is like the beast that dies I would have to say they never see they never saw themselves being wrong see they were wrong now that is a big change I know it is um, so what I want to do is I want to put this in yellow for right now what I want to do is go up here and see what I have done here never see oh I added the word day never see his light it's that's what's going on here and I was just telling you that heaven is uh, lit up by our creator's being is light so they will never see his light ta-da corrected that I knew it wasn't right but glad it went back up to the top now you can see that this text um, what's being said but who would say these words this is not words from a king because there's nothing here that says I'm fighting an enemy which leads us to a prophet or a priest or a scribe hear this everyone from us my people's ears that would be like a high priest uh, speaking Because they would be the one. See, the the high priest ended up becoming the judge over all the promised land, but we don't have any text like that uh, of all the judges. Um, we have Eli is the last judge, and then as a from a priest, and then uh, even though Samuel was born. Uh, to serve in you'd have to go and understand Hannah's vow to our creator 
to understand that uh, Samuel was to be dedicated to live with the priest and he was accepted into uh, Eli's family and he ended up becoming a prophet and then as a prophet he became a judge over the people um, and then the people asked for a king and then you started having kings and I'm just scanning back and forth as I'm talking and I see this as a high priest being right in this. I don't see this as uh, a prophet because a prophet, we usually have words that say, um, he answered me, he looked at me, words like that that uh, would have to um, be a part of vision of, of a vision um, so I'm going to just say words from a high priest and we really don't have any of their names um, to go in for all these years and that's sad but it's the truth but that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say this is the title and uh, words from a high priest about redeeming about redeeming that'll be fine okay now we can move on to 53 which I have already edited and I found this was the king now how did I arrive at that okay um, the words here the fools have said in their heart we have no creator many have committed themselves to evil now I had to add the word many here um, because the words now no one not one of them is good like he's seeing the decay of his people leaving our Creator and what he's doing is he's now saying our Creator looks down from heaven upon man to watch them and I changed the word to watch from see to watch if because of these words here if anyone's will is seeking their Creator but everyone has turned away now they have become evil and I think that I changed the word wicked to evil because when you turn away from your creator it was evil um, that means his people were turning away from, from evil that's why I would know this is a king they have no knowledge of him nor upon their or nor nor call upon their creator now we are in great fear okay now I had to change some of these words because it was no it was they were in great fear but when it comes down to a fear by our Creator now we are in great fear a fear by our Creator now what the look right here at the following words because our Creator will reject them yet there is salvation for Israel Israelis now this I had let's see if I have it see I have it up here as two verse two verse two verse and I found it as um, four verse and then I added these two to get to this verse but when it come down to reject for them meaning that I had to look for a king that um, knew that Israel had been rejected okay um, and they went into captivity and he's seeing this happening among his people and he's kind of complaining uh, that they uh, they aren't seeking our creator anymore because so many of them have become evil now what I did was I came in here and I wanted to know what king would have done this 
Well, if I try to uh, see this, is the king I, I uh, uh, have designated this to, because it's an Israeli king. Because when you come through here, the only kings that would have been complaining that they're turned away would have been here and here. Um, well, let me see, like here and here, because this guy here, he started meditating and have sex with the female goddess. He made an, um, an idol and of her and uh, stuck it into the house of our creator. He also put in horse gods. Uh, horse gods, what's that mean? Well, what, what happens is under this practice, once a year, a male's maleness retracts inside his body like an animal, and they many used it as a horse. Now, if you go back and look at um, uh, old uh, half man, half beast, you'll find Assyria uh, or Babylon's half man, half beast, how it's got a head of a man, wings, and a body. Now, if you uh, look into uh, Islam, um, you will see that Muhammad rides on this um, horse, but he, the horse, the head, is a female goddess, picture of a female goddess on the horse head. And this is all symbolic, but that's what it means. Now, what this means is that I could not use any of these kings over here on this side. And when I come over here, I knew Jehu was a very dedicated, but his words are uh, very strong. I mean, he will say, I killed him, I'm going to keep killing him, and they are going to die, and I don't care. <laughs> I mean, he blatantly writes, and when you see that, that's, a, that's stunning writing from a king. But he did go around and burn the bones on the altar, uh, because uh, when I com keep complaining about idiots calling their church the Church of Bethel, up here, yes, I would just want to make sure that, uh, let me change this to agree. Up here, we see that uh, Jeroboam put a, built an altar for the bulls in Bethel and stopped people from uh, going into Jerusalem uh, to uh, for their uh, sin offerings and for um, the, the statute that our Creator had set about celebrating around uh, his tent or his house every at every beginning of the year um, and celebrate his passing over uh, their their firstborn males now um, this it, at this time a prophet came and said there would be a king that would or uh, I don't know if it's actually a king or what, but said he would burn the bones of, from these priests that are here. Well, that happens down here. Uh, so you can see that it happens maybe a hundred years later. But the object here is, is this guy here. He's my kind of king. <laughs> okay? Uh, he ain't putting up with their crap. Um, now... The only guy on this side that's any good is this guy here. It would be his son. These blue lines show the lineage of the sons. And what you see is the end of Jeroboam's sons here. Or, no, Jeroboam's son here. Uh, this, this line shows that uh, this son from Solomon came over here and ruled after he died. And then his son here and then his son and this guy's son, two sons ruled after him. And then uh, a prophet designated, poured oil on, his, on this guy's head. He was a commander of the army. And then he come back and killed him, not the king. And he did this. And so his son is the only one left that I can actually say that he's the, he's the guy that would do this and speak about this, because when you read the text again, um, uh, fools have said in their heart, we, they have no creator, and many are committing themselves to evil. 
Now evil, when I'm using evil, is to be against our creator. And that is, they went on to another god. Um, because I don't know what I explained before, but um, this, this needs to be said here. See, this is talking about the kingdom of Judah, how they went and married the daughter of a foreign god. Well, that's why our creator cast away the kingdom of Israel. And this is the warning in Malachi 2.11, that they married the daughter of a foreign god. And the only way that can be done is meditating at a certain day, a certain time. And then you would know that it's tied to the moon practice on this month if you ever or this day of the month and you'll see this symbol on Islamic uh, mosques all over the world and on most of the Islamic flags this here is Venus and this here is uh, the pagan how they named her the female goddess named Venus and this is in the east so this is what I call a left hand crescent moon and when you see this put at uh, the sleep time when you're going to sleep and it's this this way, you know that they're uh, trying to put a message to you. This used to be on your television all over the place, on the products, uh, in their aisles and everything. It's changed since 1995. Um, but the object is, is uh, the king here at this time, well, I don't need to get to the king. I just need to get back to the words here. Um, and it's saying how everyone has turned away and now they have become evil. They have no knowledge of him, nor they call upon the creator. So this is, and yet he believes in the salvation, which means uh, Jesus as his king. This word salvation, uh, I will tie with savior. So... Uh, that's how I arrived to this as being Israel's king, whatever his name is. I don't get to, I don't know how to pronounce their names that well. And I will call that um, the end of this video and continue. Yeah, I was going to tell you which ones I'm going to start, but I know that there's so many that are starting to get thrown out that I don't know if uh, I can say the next one is going to be the next one. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I'm done.